Uh, let me uh, let us present the main celebrant of the uh, the mass. Uh, this will be the the last holy mass here in Hung Expo, which will be um, uh, celebrated by Jean Claude Hollerich, uh, Cardinal, uh, the Archbishop of Luxembourg, uh, President of the Br uh, Bishops' Conference of the European Union. He urges that Europe uh, has to move towards the solidarity. He sa he sees that Europe is dominated by the consumer attitude, which doesn't let us live. We destroy our own life in Europe. Uh, we need deep evangelization. We have to change. We have to preach Christ's message, who caused us to a deep change, that he said. The expectation about, he expressed the expectation about himself, uh, saying that uh, I have the hope in Christ. For me, it means that I can see my own fragility. And this fragility uh, doesn't mean threat, but it's an opportunity to say that my salvation is in Jesus Christ. He is my hope, his word, and his crucifixion and resurrection leads me to a better commitment for a righteous society. This is what uh, Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerick says. Uh, you will uh, soon meet him uh, after the break.
In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pax Vobis. Fratres, agnoscamus peccata nostra, ud aptissimus ad sacra misteria celebranda. Confitio Deo Omnipotenti, et vobis fratres, quia peccavi nimis, cogitatione, verbo, opere ed omissione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Ideo precor beata Mariam semper virginem, omnes angelos et sanctos, et vos fratres orare pro me, ad Dominum Deum nostrum. Amen. Misereato nostri omnipotens Deus, et emissis peccatis nostris, perduca nos ad vitam eterna. Concede quesumus omnipotens Deus, ut qui dilecti filii tui corde gloriantes, eius precipo in nos beneficia recolimus caritatis, de illo donorum fonte celesti, super affluentem gratia mereamur accipere, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, Qui tecum vivi de trenia de unitate spiritu sancti, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. 
Lesung aus dem ersten Brief des Apostels Paulus an Timotheus. Paulus, Apostel Christi Jesu, durch den Auftrag Gottes unseres Retters und Christi Jesu, unserer Hoffnung, an Timotheus, seinen echten Sohn, durch den Glauben. Gnade, Erbarmen und Friede von Gott, dem Vater und Jesus Christus, unserem Herrn. Ich danke dem, der mir Kraft gegeben hat, Christus Jesus, unserem Herrn. Er hat mich für treu gehalten und in seinen Dienst genommen, obwohl ich ihn früher lästerte, verfolgte Even und though I used to be blasphemer and did all I could to injure and discredit the faith. Mercy, however, was shown me because until I became a believer, I had been acting in ignorance and the grace of the Lord filled me with faith and with the love that is in Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. inheritance, O Lord. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Happiness lies in you alone. You are my inheritance, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. You are my inheritance, O Lord. show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, at happiness forever. You are my inheritance, O oh Lord. is truth. Make us holy in the truth. Hallelujah.
Dominus vobiscum. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told the parable to the disciples. Can one blind man guide another? Surely both will fall into a pit. The disciple is not superior to his teacher. The fully trained, disi the dis the fully trained disciple will always be like his teacher. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the splinter that is in your eye when you cannot see the plank in your own. Hypocrite. Take the plank out of your eye, own eye first and then you will see clearly enough to take out the splinter that is in your brother's eye. Verbum Domini Éminence, Excellence, chers sœurs, chers frères, Your Eminences, Excellences, dear brothers and sisters, during the COVID pandemic, fear was in the hearts of many people. Fear of loneliness, fear of economic failure, fear of illness, fear of hospitalization, and fear of death. But I do hope that the faithful didn't remain uh, in this agnosticism. So we can receive the Eucharist in our soul and I think it was really, indeed, the source of hope. And this is the real miracle of faith, because our faith is deeply rooted in believing the Lord Jesus Christ. And the faith in not only the Lord Jesus Christ, but also in his church we have recognized that faith gives us direction during our life. Faith in Europe has become a very small flame 
and in certain regions of our continent that is in danger of disappearing. Faith has been carried by stru culture structures. Faith entered the soul as if it was in symbiosis with the world around us. This is a faith that is no so a faith that is no longer carried by this Christian word can easily falter. However, as we do know, faith is not only nourished by culture. Faith is nourished by the object. Uh, I mean, faith is, is 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 really nourished by the object of faith and the living God, who is also the source of this faith. So. The purpose of faith is to enter into a relationship with the living God through prayer and participating in the sacraments. Faith has a missionary dynamic. Faith demands that it should be shared with others. And I do pray with all my heart that this missionary dimension of faith is to be rediscovered in Europe and in all over the world. Just as flame needs wood and air to survive, our faith also needs many things. We do not live our faith in the abstract or in an abstract manner. Faith is exercised and lived by a person, a community, and the whole church in a very specific way, following a specific direction. Faith is linked to the dimension of eternity because we believe in the eternal God, but we live it in time and in a specific way, in a specific manner. Faith opens our eyes to recognize God's presence in our words. The faith we confess together in the creed also opens us to take up our very personal vocation. Indeed, faith is always a response to God's call. The faith we share opens the church to the path of synodality. A single person alone, a community, and sometimes a local church can lose their way on the path of faith. The synodal journey of the entire church corrects our unproductive ways and shows us the way in the desert and also the way that leads us out of the desert. In the desert of our lives, there is a temptation to give up our faith or to reduce it to our own small scale. In deserts, our faith needs to be nurtured. And what better food to feed our faith than the Eucharistic food of Jesus himself at the very center of our lives? The Eucharistic nourishment of faith is uniquely personal, yet, at the same time, uniquely communal and ecclesial. If we do not live, or if we did not live the ecclesial dimension of the church, we would cut ourselves off from our root, who is Christ. And then we would stop on the path that leads us to Christ. Yes, indeed, faith is a treasure that we must nurture. Let us pray at this Mass for our own faith, and at the same time pray for the faith of the entire Church. Let us pray for our faith so that it could be carried by hope. Let us pray that our faith will be opened to love. Faith without love locks us into ourselves. Love is the, is the breath of the Church, living by faith. Faith without action is dead. Our Pope constantly reminds us that Christians, we Christians, and as Christians, we live in society, and that we must respond to the challenges of injustice with Christian commitment. A living faith is ready to be engaged. Faith in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, faith in a God who is a loving relationship, calls us to open the world to our brothers and sisters. Because God loves all people, our faith leads us to make ourselves a neighbor to all those in need. Faith 
is a dynamic element of our lives in this world, but also leads us to contemplate the living God. Let this Eucharistic Congress be an opportunity to deepen our faith. Jesus, bread of eternal life, come to aid, come to our aid in our weaknesses. And as it was mentioned in the gospel, sometimes we are unable to see because of the log in our eyes. And for this reason, we cannot see our brothers and sisters. We cannot see them as brothers. We cannot see them as sisters. But we simply see them as objects of criticism. And whenever the, I read Facebook or, or public media or mass media, then I exactly experience the same. Every single person thinks that they they have the right to criticize the church. And you know, there are some uh, who have this, this slog in their left eye and in other case in the right eye, and they are unable to see the path that Christ calls upon us to just walk together with him hand in hand. So I think we shall leave our tiny little path behind that we take just because we are unable to see. We shall follow Christ, and as Pope Francis says, this is the road of synodality. We shall follow this path with faith and in a courageous manner. Let this Eucharistic Congress be an opportunity to deepen our faith. Jesus, bread of eternal life, come to our aid uh, in our weaknesses. God, increase our faith. Heart of Jesus, make our hearts similar to yours. Amen. Let us worship our Lord Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself on the cross to the Heavenly Father to save us from our sins. O Lord, you have consecrated the old, the old and the new covenant by shedding your blood. Let us always remain faithful to you. O oh Lord, you have taken out suffering on death on the cross for our sake. Let us not hesitate to accept and carry the cross of our lives. Urunk, megérted nekünk az örök életre való vizet, Áraszt ki szent lelkedett minden emberre. Oh Lord, you have promised to give us the water. Oh Lord, you have sent out your disciples to proclaim the saving power of the cross. Let's draw strength from our, your cross to bear our sufferings.
Oh Lord, you have earned the resurrection and eternal life for your faithful. Let our departed brothers and sisters attain the fulfillment of your promises. Give eternal priest, peace to the victims of terror uh, attacks and wars and the victims of uh, pandemic and uh, those who died in uh, traffic accidents. <clears throat> Our God, the scandal of the cross has shown us our everlasting wisdom and your boundless love for us. Let us always boast of the cross of Christ with a trust, trustful spirit who lives and reigns for ever, ever and ever. Amen.
Frate, Fratres, und meum ac festrum sacrificium, acceptabile fia da poteum patrem omnipotente. Respice quesumus Domine, ad ineffabilem cordis dilecti fili tui caritatem, ut quod offerimus sit tibi munus acceptum, et nostrorum expiatio dedictorum, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Dominus forbiscum. So som corda Gracias agamus Domino Deo nostro Vere dignum et justum est, equum et salutare, nos tibi semper et ubique gratias agere, Domine Sancte Pater, omnipotens eterne Deus, per Christum, Dominum nostrum. Que mira caritate, exaltatus in cruce, pro nobe strade decem ed ipsum, atque de transfixolatere, sanguinim fudid ed aquam, ex quo manarent, ecclesiae sacramenta. O Domnes ad cor apertum salvatoris atracti, iugite haurient, e fontebus salutis in gaudio. Et ideo, cum sanctis ed angelis universis, te collaudamus, Sine fine dicentes.
Sanctus est Domine, et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura, quia per filium tuum Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, Spiritus Sancti operante virtute, vivificas et sanctificas universa, et populum tibi congregare non desinis, ud a solis ortu usque ad ocasum, oblatio mundo faratur nomini tu. Supplices ergo te domine de precamo, o te munera que tibi sacranda de tulimus, e odem spiritus santificare digneris, ut corpus et sanguis fiant, fili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi, cuius mandato hec misteria celebramus. Ipse enim, in qua nocte tradebatur, accepit panem, et tibi gratias agens, benedixit, fregit, de ditque discipuli suis dicens, accipite, et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provobis tradetur. Similim modo, postquam senatum est, accipiens calica, et tibi gratias agens, benedixit, de ditque discepulis suis dicens, accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobis et promultis effundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Hoc facite in meam commemorazione. Mysterium Fidei. Memo resigitur Domine, e justem fili tui saluti fere passionis, nec non mirabilis resurrectionis ed ascensionis in solum, sed et presto lantes altero meus adventum, offerimus tibi gratias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum et sanctum. Respice quesumus in oblationem ecclesiae tue, ed agnoscens hostiam, cuius foluistimulazione placari, concede ut qui corpore et sanguine fili tui refizimur, spiritu eius sancto repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus inveniamur in Christo. Ipse nos li tebi perficiat munus eternum, ut cum electis tui zerditatem consequivaleamus, in primis, cum Beatissima Virgine Dei Genetrice Maria, cum Beato Iosef Eusponzo, cum Beatis Apostolis Tuis et Gloriosus Martiribus et Omnibus Sanctus, quorum intercessione perpetuo apud te confidimus adiuvar. Ec hostia nostre de considerationis proficiat quesumus Domine, At tosis mundi pacem at que salutem, ecclesiam tuam, peregrinantem in terra, in fide et caritate firmari gnieris, cum famulo tuo Papa nostro Francisco, et episcopo nostro Petro, cum episcopalis ordine, et universo clero, et omni populo acquisitionis tue. Votis quis familiae, Quan tibi a stare voluisti ad esto, propitius, omnes filios tuos ubique dispersos tibi, clemes paters, miseratus conjunge.
Fratres nostros defuntos, et omnes qui, tibi placentes, ex hoc seculo transierunt, in regnum tuum benignus admitte. Ubi fore speramus, ut simul gloria tua perenni tersenziemus, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem mundo bona cunta largiris. Per ipsum et cum ipsum ed in ipsum, est ebideo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculo. Recepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dezere. Amen. Libera nos quesumus Domine, ab omnibus malis, da propitius pazza miniebus nostris, ud ope misericordiae tue adiuti, ad a peccato simus semper liberi, ad ab omni perturbatione securi, expectantes peatam spem, ed adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Quia tuum estrenum et potestas et gloria in seculum. Domine Iesu Christe, quid existi apostolis tuis, pazem relinquo vobis, pazem meam do vobis, ne respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tue, e amque, secundum voluntatem tuam, pacificare et coadunare dinieris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper vobisco, Offerte vobis pace.
Exe Agnus Dei, Exe qui tolit peccata mundi, beati qui ad senam agni vocati sunt. Domine, non sum dignus, ud intra sub tectum meum, se tantum dic verbo et sanabitur anima mea.
Oremus. Sacramentum caritatis, Domine, sancta nos fazia di lezione fervere, quod filium tuum semper attracti, ipsum in fratribus agnoscere discamus, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Before the end of the Holy Mass, a blessing, please allow us to give you a technical information of the rest of the day. After the Mass, there will be a Holy Mass. After the Holy Mass, there will be a lunch break, uh, and you are welcome to visit the buffets in uh, pav pavilions F and G, opposite the plenary hall. With regard to lunch, we kindly ask the pilgrims to cooperate with the organizers to ensure a smooth distribution of the lunch. After lunch, the afternoon facultation will start at uh, 2 <clears throat> 30 p.m. in pavilions A, B, E1, and E2. During the break, <clears throat> the titles of the facultations will be display displayed, from which you can choose the one you would like to attend. <clears throat> Please arrive to the selected, sele selected facultation on time at least 10 minutes before the start. Those wishing to confess, those who, who did not uh, take their uh, Sunday pass, uh, they can uh, take it uh, at the right uh, side of the stage. Some technical information on the rest of the day. After the mass, there will be a lunch break, and you are welcome to visit the buffets in pavilions F and G, opposite the plenary hall. With regard to lunch, we kindly ask the pilgrims to cooperate with the organizers to ensure a smooth distribution of the lunch. After lunch, the afternoon facultations will start at 14.30 in pavilions A, B, E1, and E2. During the break, the titles of the facultations will be displayed, from which you can choose the one you would like to attend. Please arrive to the selected facultation on time, at least 10 minutes before the start. We kindly ask the national delegates who haven't got their entrance ticket for Sunday yet, go to the right side of the stage after the Mass. Köszönöm a figyelmet. Thank you for your attention. Dominus Fobescum, Saint Nomen Domini Benedictum, Adiutorium Nostrum in Nomine Domini, Benedicat Vos Omnipotens Deus, Pater, et filius et spiritus sanctus. <clears throat>